Hello guys, welcome back to another video for IO Games Toro series. Welcome to MSO5. Um, so this one's going to be really the basic basics of saving and loading. Uh, I have developed recently a brand new, really advanced save and load system that I probably won't get in this tutorial, but I'll tutorial sorry but i won't but i will share eventually once it's actually fully functional anyways so we are going to um we're gonna get started so basically we want to save all these numbers and load it and we will fix this right here we don't need these over here once the system is done so um Saving and loading requires, actually it doesn't really require, but I recommend creating two methods for this because it makes your code a lot easier. So we're going to create public void load. No, not that kind of load, but load load. Um, and then we're going to make public void save. All right, so now we got load and save. So nothing happens, but on load, you just want to start. You know, we just want to call the load function. and for save, we, we can make it save every five seconds or every frame. It's recommended to have it ha or make it update every certain interval, but for this tutorial, we're just gonna do it every frame. So 144 times per second. <laughs> Not very good optimization. I usually do every five seconds, but it's whatever you guys wanna do. It depends on how good your game is or how big your game is. Um. So anyways, loading. We're gonna take all these variables that we wanna load with, We want, we don't want clicks value. Actually, yeah, we do, we do. Um, okay, we already got that. We're gonna add coins, temporary. Um, let's see. We need levels, yes. Big time, we need levels. Okay, and one more. So we don't need the coins per second since it's always changing because of other variables. And these are the only ones that we want to save because it relies on them. So, okay. So this is all of our variables right here. <laughs> Oops. Um, so we're going to start with, uh, we're going to start with doubles. That means all the levels are going to go at the bottom spaced out. These are all ints. And we don't have any floats, so we don't have to worry about it. But there's one thing we have to do. If we're, since we're going to be using player prefs, we need to convert to string when we save and load. Why? Because pl player prefs doesn't bleed out. Blech. I'm talking really fast, sorry. But simply because player prefs do not save or get doubles. It sucks. It only floats ints and... Um, it's string, yeah. String floats and ends. All right, so we're gonna start with coins click value. We actually we need coins too, obviously. So we're gonna start with coins. So to load, we want to set that value as um we want to set it as system dot math. Well, start simple player prefs dot get string even though coins is not a string but we will have to convert it at some point um we're gonna call it by its variable coins comma we're gonna set it as a default variable as zero that's why we don't need this anymore because we can art if there's no coins value already so if you're a new player it'll automatically set it as zero so that's really convenient but the problem is that you cannot convert string to double. That's why we have system dot actually. That's why we have double dot pairs. Double dot pairs simply takes a string and converts it to double. It's that simple. There you go. Now it automatically loads. And we can copy and paste this for however how many of it variables we have. We got one there, we got one there. Okay, so now um, we're gonna 
change all of these names to its variable just so we don't accidentally load from the same coins um, data type or a data name. And we're going to make the click value start as one. We're going to make the cost start off with all this stuff. So we don't need this anymore, basically. <laughs> we're done with that. We just need to load. It's so convenient. It's awesome. Uh, level zero, obviously. Oh, we forgot. We got two. Oh, levels are actually. Uh, we forgot to delete this one. We don't need that one. Silly me. Um, 250. Five. All right. So we got all of our doubles that are saved. Ints are really easy. So we're going to just copy and paste this. We don't need the double dot pairs. And it's simply a get int. That simple. And for default variables, we just need a number. Change that to that. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Change the names. And you're all set. That's your load system. Save is a lot easier. So we're going to paste it in here. So what we're doing instead, we're actually going to start with player prefs dot set string because we're saving the string to the certain number coins that's the name of it or the key and we're setting it as coins right is that all that needs to be done no we cannot convert double to string so what do we need to do to string that's it that's literally it <laughs> you just put the do string and it converts a double to a string you can do that to an in too you can literally save Int as a string if you wanted to, but it's recommended to do get int or set int because it's just easier and it's more convenient that way, I guess. So we need to do this six more times. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to save each one of these variables. And there's the save. So next are ints. Ints are also really easy. So I'm going to copy this, we're going to set int, and we don't need a two string because it's an int, and we're done. That's it. <laughs> it's that easy. So I'm going to really fast. Basically, I'm just setting all the names as, as this. <clears throat> so if you still don't understand what's going on, I'll review. So for save. So player prefs the class has a method called setString, which accepts a name, a string, and, um, and a value, which is also a string. So setString uh, set string basically accepts another string, or two strings, coins, and whatever coins to string is. So the number converted to a string, all right? And um, basically, it, creates automatically creates a document um for local save data it's like an xml i think uh located somewhere on your computer and it looks like this it's like coins that's the name and coins whatever it equals it's like 300 it literally looks like that so set string basically adds this to the documents and if it already exists it changes to whatever it needs to be whatever this is called Set int is the exact same way. So, but set int, instead of a two strings, it's a string and, a, and an int, which is this right here. Load basically does the same thing. It finds the key coins and it finds the value and it sets it and it just returns it basically. So, get string returns a string, which is found right here, which is zero. And when we parse it, it converts this to a double, which sets it to coins. That makes sense. So now, starting now, we will be able to automatically save and load every time we play the game. So we're gonna play it. So everything should look new, but now when we start clicking, or buying upgrades, let's see, we'll buy some of these, we'll buy some of those, we'll buy some more of those. Buy one of those, maybe one of those. Hey, might not, maybe two of those, you know? So we got some data right here to save. 
right, so it keeps saving every frame. If we exit and then load it, we should have all of our progress. There you go. Save and loading. That's the, that's really, that's the, that's down to earth basics of save and loading. Can't get easy, any easier than this. But it can get a lot cleaner than this and a lot more optimized than this. This is just really easy to understand. And this is only for Unity, just letting you know, because this player press is Unity's uh, class. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching uh, episode 5. Yeah, I think I'm episode 5. Um, next one will be Prestige Systems, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to attempt to do Prestige Systems the next episode. Alright guys, um, if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Uh, see you guys in episode 6. Peace. Yeah. Got me in this party all up in a zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Because my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the cold?